Hello friends. This is Alice. This is my channel, The Witch in the Glen. I am so happy to be doing a reading for y'all. Um, this is divine justice. So we already got a little bit of a message there. Um, I have been a little absentee and I am aware that y'all are a little like, where are you? But <laughs> here I am. Um, I have just been having a lot of, doing a lot of like personal readings and um, some other spiritual advising, spiritual kind of counseling. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to get back to being able to do like a reading um, daily for y'all or at least like several times a week. Um, anyway, so that's my little blurb. Um, these readings are otherwise timeless. Um, <laughs> we've got, we're not going to take a message yet, but this is Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, so we're going to think about that. Um, these readings are otherwise timeless. Um, that is how energy works. There is no such thing as linear time. We hop around between timelines and um, parallel universes is what that is talking about. So that is why, why many of us point out that these readings are timeless. Whenever it finds you, that is when it is meant for you. Um, and just and then the caveat is that just because it finds you does not mean that it's going to resonate for you so you are either readings are either finding you because there is a trigger involved that you need to know about or um, and work on uh, so if there's something that makes you feel icky that means that the message itself may not be actually true it may be that it is a trigger for you so don't get down about that and feel like you are um, kind of bound by what readers say in their readings. Um, if something gives you a little lift or you feel this feeling of recognition, um, your heart feels a feeling of recognition or there's a psychic part of you who, lots of cards jumping out y'all. Okay, let's get into it. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That's the short, that's the short version. Um, okay, we are using my golden Art Nouveau tarot deck, my trusty, beautiful deck. Um, and let's just see what kind of message we have for the collective. I'm usually reading on the divine feminine energy because that is what I resonate with. Um, and we get messages about our divine masculine energy as well. Um, and so that is, that's where we're coming from. So let's see what the cards have for us. What kind of message do we have for the divine feminine collective today? Spirit, what kind of message do we have for the divine feminine collective today? So we have the three of pentacles in reverse. There's something that's that you need to start working on by yourself instead of relying on other people for. Um, this is like, don't get opinions from all the people around you about your spiritual path. There are going to be um, that when there are too many cooks in the kitchen, um, you you tend to find that the lowest common denominator is um, the standout message. And so what I'm saying is like when you have too many people, you end up, what happens is that you end up going with, um, it's like your lower self instead of your higher self, your lower self, your unevolved self is seeking answers from other people's 3D selves. So you're letting other people project on you basically. And then you are following other people's projections, um, which is not your authentic path. So we need to cut out some of the middlemen and the only people, the only source that you need to be seeking um, for affirmation and for confirmation that you are on the right path is the divine. Go into your heart, drop into your heart, go meditate, um, drop into your heart and see what comes. 
this is how you are going to get into this. It's, it's like the spiritual connection. Like we are trying to bolster your spiritual connection. And so here we have, it's like you're kind of looking to other people for examples and other people's paths are going to be nothing like yours. I mean, very, very little that's going to have to do with yours. So find your truth and stick with it. This is, we have the Hierophant coming out. Um, this is high spiritual power. Um, power is a weird word, but um, high spiritual um, abilities. Um, it's a very direct relationship with God, but it's more of a ritualized relationship, like almost to the point of being um, qualifying sort of in the religious uh in the religious kind of area, but you know, religion is a, sort of a bad word in the spiritual community because it is a form, it has been basically ubiquitously a form of abuse for millennia. Um, but there is another way of ritualizing. Um, so religion is the, a ritualized, um, kind of standardized version of different people's spiritual paths, of different spiritual paths. Um, and like I said, like we were saying with this three of pentacles in reverse, other people's paths are not going to be the same as yours. Um, and that's why religion really falls flat on its face because first of all, it's actually trying to keep you away from God, the original purveyors of different religious backgrounds, um, are usually are come in as a response to a different, to, um, individuals who have have connected with the divine in a very direct way. Religions come in like the, the state, um, the oppressors, the powers that be come in because they do not want people, they do not want the humans to know how close we are with God and how we, um, how we can use the quantum field to manifest instantaneously and how we don't have to actually die. We should be able to, we are able to live forever in these bodies if you can attain enlightenment. And if that is something that your soul desires, a lot of people want to ascend by themselves and not come back to earth, but there is, there are other paths. Um, look at Tantra and um, the twin flame path is a path of, um, embodiment of the spirituality of the earth such that you get to enjoy it in a physical way as well in a 3d way as well so the hierophant here is bringing um the spirituality bringing the divine into day-to-day -day life into um and makes it into a ritualized like allows for there to be a ritualized relationship with with the divine. Um, this can look like ceremonial witchcraft. This can look like um, having a meditation practice that you plan to do at a certain time each day. There are way, many different ways of ritualizing um, your spirituality in such a way that it anchors you to the divine rather than setting you apart. So you're being encouraged here to cut out the other people in your life who, and other, not, it doesn't have to just be people in your life. This could be people that you follow on TikTok or Instagram and who have very specific uh, guidelines from their higher selves. But a lot of those people are projecting on the collective and, um, and their path is not really meant for you. You're just getting muddled and it's hard to hear the message from the divine when that happens. Um, but you are powerful and you're at a place where it's like, like relying on other people to dictate your spiritual path is, is, should be way in the past. Like you, your soul has developed itself and aligned itself in the 3D so much so that you really you really do not need to keep seeking other other opinions on um what you know to be true in your heart um satya is a concept in 
Vedic tradition in Kundalini Yoga, we talk about Satya, which is uh, a word that means the ultimate truth. And um, we say Sat Nam, which means the truth is in me. And that is, that is a form of meditation. Um, it's a um, mantra that you can use too, Sat Nam, um, meaning the truth is in me. I'm not going to look outside of myself for other sources of the truth because God, spirit, source, channels itself through me and tells me everything that I need to know. Um, so... You're getting a message that about your about your spiritual power and how it is manifesting in the earth plane in this realm. Yeah. Okay. Again, we have um, this is a card for you know really the seven of wands is here meant to show that you it's like there have been people in the past who have really been trying to tell you what to do what to believe um what to think about about matters in your world and how to be how to be yourself how to be um this this fellow here is holding at bay and managing all the different opinions that are coming at him. He is um, avoiding impact and it's, he's in this, he's in this um, sort of this perpetual dance, like, uh, you know, in fencing, it's sort of, it turns into more of a dance as uh, as you get good at at fencing it's yeah so these these people in your life who have been coming at you have also have really made you feel like you've been hung out to dry it's like they're coming at you telling you what to do and what you should think about things this is like the media coming at you and telling you how you should relate to your spirituality how you should um advocate for yourself how you should bring your perspective into the earth into the um 3d realm um and there it's it's like you have realized at a certain point that none of these people really have your back really have the best interest of you in their heart because they their their projections on you are indicative of the fact that they are less evolved spiritually. Them telling you what to do, telling you what you need to think, telling you what you need to be saying, telling you what you need to be posting, and as and saying like you're not a real spiritual person, you're not a real, um, you're not close to source because you're not saying these particular things in these particular ways or doing things in certain, in particular, certain ways, um, going to church, like things like that, that you might feel pressure from people around you or society around you to do things like this. But it's like all these people, the more that you follow the advice and the direction of these outside influences the more you're going to feel like you have been completely hung out to dry like each time you fulfill uh like a recommendation or you know you fr from somebody else and really incorporate it into your life you notice that it's like it doesn't really get you any farther it's like you've just further staked yourself to your lower self um bound yourself maybe that's a better way of, of saying it and this hasn't let you this is like this is such that like you're the love that is meant for you the love that's meant to come in the divine love um in the earth realm so this could be romantic love um has yet to come in it's like all that has been that has been 
slow to develop because you have been relying on outside influences instead of relying on your heart, instead of dropping into your heart and your intuition and really examining what it is that your soul is craving. And this, so you've been, there is love in the wings. There is this, the hand of, the hand, this is like the hand of God, the hand of spirit um, coming in and delivering you what is your divine inheritance. But it hasn't been able to come in because you've been so caught in feeling like you have to listen to every single person. You have to make every single person believe that you are in line with make every single person like see that you're a good person um it's you know you're relying on other people's opinions too much and this is what's ultimately keeping love out it's keeping it is um keeping you from being able to manifest in the way that you're really meant to be able to manifest um, there is a higher part of you that is meant to be in relationship. You're meant to be in a relationship bound at the heart chakra and not the sacral chakra. Um, this is an old, this is an old way of being an old relationship blueprint that is defined by the energy of lust and um, not defined by the energy of source when you this so the queen of wands here in reverse this is it's like this is not it's kind of run its course for you to be in these relationships that are bound in the in the sacral we have the lovers here um, on the bottom of the deck um, it's just, it's like you're getting burned out. This is completely burning out your energy source. It gets burned out before it can ever elevate into helping you to be in higher alignment. You're just, any energy that's coming in, you're giving it all back out and more, and even more so. You're not letting it, because your relationships are not, um, your relationships in the past have not been based on a divine connection. Uh, it's that is like what ultimately ex expends our energy in this realm and makes it so that we have to reincarnate over and over again, a misuse of our sexual energy. And I'm not saying that um, a higher spiritual relationship with God that is in this um that relationship through god a partnership relationship where you connect through god this is the holy trinity connect through the divine instead of connecting to each other just through your sacral chakra um is that that's that's it's like you it's not going to work for you anymore to keep keep pushing at embodying this antiquated blueprint which is designed around um abuse basically um when you connect with others in this this way your energy is being used for the other person to be able to manifest and you're not getting it back you're giving away your source energy. However, if you can find, when you find, oh my gosh, my washing machine. Um, <laughs> when you find your divine partner, and this is somebody who shares the same soul frequency as you, when you define your, find your divine divine soulmate, your twin flame, there the connection will no longer be from the sacral. It is possible for you to bond with somebody at the level of the heart chakra, which is the, which is, 
what makes this an ever flowing overflowing relationship with love that that partnerships are meant to be the divine the divine union of the masculine and the feminine um and i always say this so i don't and i should say it at the beginning but anytime i'm talking about masculine and feminine it does not have to be um somebody with uh male genitalia quote unquote it does not have to be a ma the masculine it can be any gender can embody these these energies um but they are the two pol polar energies that make up everything in our in our world um yeah so this is what is meant for you is the lovers is this relationship with each other through the divine. Um, <laughs> I this is interesting having these two cards next to each other. They um, are sort of similar, similar cards in the in the depiction here in this deck. Um, judgment, though, it's like you're done. This is like divine judgment coming in, um, saying, like calling bullshit on all the paradigms before now, calling bullshit on all the relationships and all the sexual dalliances, everything that has come before that is based on a lower form of energetic bonding. You're done with that. You're done with all the people who have been clinging to you, all the sexual cords that have been embedded in you, you are done with those. Um, so this, I mean, this, and this relates to, to, you know, our cards starting out, the three of pentacles, which it's like, let's cut out all of the P, all of the sexual energy that's caught in your system to let's let's purge that um cut all of those sexual cords that keep you entangled at a quantum level with other beings who you have um other beings that have been in relationship with you friendship familial relationship cut those cords really lean into this self-assuredness of the Hierophant, knowing that, that your relationship with the divine is the only thing that is real. Your, your truth, your, your um, higher self's sense of truth. Um, that is the only thing that's real. And that once you embody that and start aligning with it, removing all the people who would tell you what to do and what to believe and how to be a good person, keeping all those people at bay, holding them back and um, not letting, preventing this from happening again, feeling hung out to dry by all these relationships where they've been taking advantage of you. Um, a divine love is coming in. It's meant for you. And it's just been held up by these older ways of relating to spirituality and these older ways of relating to relationships. Um, yeah. So lean into the love. Lean into your goodness. Lean into your truth. And Satnam.